Hello, and welcome to the inaugural season of the Adrenaline Racing Cup Series. In this video, we will be taking a look at the driver entry list for this season. We will also be going over the track schedule and points format. In the one car, Jarrett Trudell. In the two car, Tyler Seville. In the five car, Joshua Harrison. In the seven, Brandy Harper. In the nine, Deacon Gentleman. In the ten, Jordan Walker. In the 11, Denzel Scott. In the 13, Theophilus Morgendorfer. In the 14, Dave Wilson. In the 15, Quinn Porter. In the 16, Carter Hayden. In the 17, Cassidy Reynolds. In the 18, Noah Hobson. In the 20, Maxwell Smart. In the 21, Trevor Walker. In the 22, Elias Goodbyes. In the 24, Jacob Bradley. In the 27, Tristan Fish. In the 29, Matthew Bussey Jr. In the 31, Beth Sanders. In the 32, Clay Stone. In the 33 car, Ellie Buss. In the 34, Jerry Funk. In the 36, Keith Vega. In the 38 car, Dmitry Yanukovych. In the 39, Mitch Barrier. In the 42, Mark Ware. In the 43, Ricky Quinn. In the 47, Diego Tacon. In the 48, Roland Heidfeld. In the 51, Jer Jansen. In the 55, Marin Kozark. In the 56, Draven Sandy. In the 83, Andy Seville. In the 87, Paris Riley. In the 88, Dre Heron. In the 93, Callie and Boggarts. In the 98, Ringus McDingus. In the 99, Sean Carson. And rounding out your field for this inaugural season is Pedro Perez. Here is how the points and playoffs will work for the inaugural season of the ARCS. The regular season will consist of 15 races. After 15 races, we'll take all of the winners from the first 15 races, and they will automatically qualify for the ARCS playoffs. The goal is simple. You win, and you're in. But for those who don't win, all hope is not lost you can still make it into the playoffs based off points. If there aren't 15 winners, there could be more than one spot up for grabs for points. This gives consistent drivers a shot at the championship. In the playoffs, things get funky. Wins don't matter, and only points can carry you to the championship four. 16 drivers will duke it out for four spots to take part in the last race of the season, which will determine the championship for the inaugural ARCS season. Now, let's break down the schedule. Now, let's take a look at the roadmap for this season. First up, we have Daytona International Speedway, an obvious starting point for any season. It's always good to start your season with a bang. Next, we cross the Florida-Georgia line and head up to Atlanta to test out the newly reconfigured Atlanta Super Speedway. After Atlanta, we head north and prepare to get a little dirty at Bristol Dirt. After we clean our cars up from Bristol, we head to Auto Club for the four-part West Coast Swing. This isn't your dad's Auto Club Speedway. This is the half-mile, high-banked hellscape that's bound for carnage. Next, we take a short hauler ride to Phoenix for a duel in the desert. After Phoenix, we head back to Cali for the first road course of the season in Sonoma Wine Country. After we stop at the Vineyard, we go to Vegas and roll the dice, hoping to capture a victory with a little help from Lady Luck. For the next portion of the schedule, you're going to need to turn back your watch because these tracks haven't had a race in quite some time. First, we're going back to 1981 at Texas World Speedway, which is the oldest ghost track on our schedule. Next, we head to Wilkes County for the fan favorite, North Wilkesboro Speedway, which last had a cup race in 1996. For the next leg of our journey, we'll go right up the road to another North Carolina track at Rockingham Speedway. After a day at the Rock, we'll head to the Midwest to not only complete our Ghost Tracks part of the schedule, but to kick off a new leg of the journey in the Midwest at a newly deceased cup track, Chicagoland Speedway. After we head up to Wisconsin for the second of three road course races on the season at Road America, we eat some cheese and head over to Michigan for the two-mile beast of a track that could be considered a super speedway. After a grueling race at Michigan, we head to Iowa to look at some cornfields. Just kidding, we'll be there for a race. And finally, we'll head to the south to watch the drivers take on Talladega Super Speedway. 
after we set the playoff field, we'll head to the track too tough to tame, Darlington Speedway. After getting comfortable at Darlington, we'll head to another plate track for the second time in three weeks at Coca-Cola Super Speedway for some four-wide action. After some chaos, we'll head to Charlotte to complete the third and final road course on the schedule at the Charlotte Roval. Now, this is where things get serious. We head to Homestead Miami Speedway for the elimination race that will take 16 drivers and turn them into four. After Homestead, we stay in Florida and return to the high banks of Daytona International Speedway for the race that will decide the inaugural champion of the ARCS. Thanks for watching, and I hope you tune in to the action this season.